I got a van. Yes, yes, it's real. It's mine. After spending a few months camping in my car, I decided that it was time to upgrade and get something a little bit more comfortable. Oh goodness, it's still so hot in Florida. Whew. It's a used van, but it's perfect for me. It has a few scratches here and there, which is good because I wouldn't want to mess with a brand new van when I don't really necessarily know what I'm doing. So this is perfect. It only has 37,000 miles, so I think it will be perfect. It's a 2021 Ram Pro Master, the 159 wheelbase. So it's, it's big enough. I cannot wait to start working on it. I actually already started working on it. Well, I shouldn't say I, I should say we, because my stepdad was nice enough to help me clean this van. It was so dirty, you guys have no idea. It was disgusting. Some clowns lived in here. Yeah, probably the same thing on the other side. Probably all kind of stuff down there. Balloons. Around. Candy wrappers. Yeah, there's a, bunch of, there's a bunch of balloons in here too. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna have to remove the seats, the front seats, because there's a lot of junk under the mats. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit more work than expected to start with. I didn't expect to have to remove the seats, you know? Okay. You knew I could do it. I broke a nail, but that's okay. There you go. I'll tell you, I ain't seen so much trash in my life. The reason I'm telling you stuff as we go, where if anybody ever asks you ever had any problems out and you ain't here where I'm at, you know. That's where the fuel pump's at. You want me to try? If you get trapped in your car, yeah. this is to break the windows. Oh, okay. And this is to cut your seat belt. Oh, okay. That's good. That's I want uh, you to have one of these. That seems useful. Thank uh, you. That seems useful. You never know when you're going to need it. Well, you know. You know, the new car glass, you can't just bust it out with your fist like you used no. to. No. Thank you. Sun, go away. Where are the clouds? Come back. Why is it so hot? It's October, for crying out loud. I chose this van, the Ram Pro Master, for a few reasons. Number one, it's a little bit cheaper than the Ford Transit and the Mercedes Sprinter. Number two, I really like the shape of this van. It's more square and a little wider, so it allows you to place your bed widthwise, freeing up some extra space for other things. One of the things that this van is missing is the all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive options, which you can get with the Sprinter and the um, Transit. But that's okay, because I'm probably not gonna be um, going off-road, so I'll be, I'll be fine, I think. And I'm gonna build it myself. Also, because of cost, it's gonna cost a little bit less, probably a lot less to do it myself. I don't really have any building skills, but part of the fun to me is going to be the learning experience. I'm gonna learn to use different tools and just different skills that I may be able to use in the future. And there's also a sense of pride and ownership when you build something with your own hands. So this is gonna feel more like home, it's gonna be more special, it's kind of like a piece of art. Anyway, that's it for now, so let's uh, go do something else now. These are my, my plants. This one here needs a new pot. The roots are coming out. I really love this one here. This one is from Peru. I only water this one about once a month and it has grown a lot. When I first got it, it was just a tiny little thing here. And now look at this. Welcome to my beautiful Lanai. I'm in my condo in Florida right now. I haven't been traveling in a little while mainly because I want to have time to convert my van. My van is not here, not with me at this moment because I live in a condo and the association would never allow a van here. So I leave my van at my mom's house. She has a large property where there's enough space for my van. And uh, that is where I will be converting my van at my mom's house. But before doing anything, now that my van is clean, 
I am doing some research. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, other people, other van lifers who have already done this, following their journey and trying to learn from their mistakes. I will be making my own mistakes and if you're following me on this journey, I wanna make sure that you understand that this is me learning as I go. So don't do what I do. Maybe learn from my mistakes, but don't assume that I know what I'm doing because even though I'm gonna do a lot of research, I'm sure I'm going to make some mistakes here and there. Can't avoid it. I'm very excited. I have been wanting to do this for a very long time. I'm finally able to do it. And van life for me is an opportunity for more travel, more adventure. I'm lucky enough to have a condo in Florida where I can be when I'm not on the road, but I love traveling. I love the idea of living in a small space, becoming more of a minimalist, not spending so much money, just enjoying nature a little bit more, getting to know different places and just having more adventure. So what I have learned so far from my in-depth research is that the next thing I should be doing after cleaning my van is protecting it against rust. I don't see any signs of rust in my van as of now, but there are many, many scratches. It's a used van, so there are many scratches, a lot of exposed metal. It seems like the thing to do is sand all of these areas and then cover the areas with anti-rust primer and paint. I found a combination product where you can get the primer and the paint in one, which I think will simplify the process a little bit. Not saying that it's the best option, just saying that that is what I will be using. Hopefully it's good enough to prevent any rust in the future. What else? After sanding and painting the inside of the van, I will start thinking about where I want the windows and the fans. I am pretty sure I'm gonna get two Air Max fans. I was thinking about a 12 volt AC, but I think that just doesn't make enough sense because it consumes a lot of electricity. And even though I plan to have a good electrical system good batteries. I don't want to be worried about running out of power just because I'm using my AC. Instead of having an AC unit, I think what I'm going to do is just make sure that I'm following the weather, going up north during the summer and then coming back south during the winter. That makes a little bit more sense because if it's hot outside, I don't even want to be in my van. If it's, if it's so hot outside where I need AC, then I could find a different place to be where it will be more comfortable inside and outside of the van. I have a pretty good idea of what I want my floor plan to look like. I just have to take measurements and plan where the windows and the um, fans will go. Then I also have to start thinking about soundproofing and insulation. There's a lot to think about, a lot to do. I think I can prevent a lot of headaches and a lot of mistakes by taking it slow, doing my research, measuring twice, cutting once, something like that. There's a lot to think about when you're building a van, a lot of different pieces, and you kind of have to think about the whole picture, but at the same time, focus on one task at a time. You have to know what your final product should look like. It probably would be very difficult to change things later on, so you really need to know what your floor plan is going to look like, what your layout is going to look like before you start cutting holes or running wires through your walls. You need to know where the switches are going to be, all of these things. There's just a lot to think about. You really need to take it slow and think about every aspect of your build before you start building, which is what I'm doing right now. And I've been doing for the past few months, I swear. When I start working on projects, I can get a little bit obsessed. So I spend a lot of time doing research, watching other people's videos, learning from other people's mistakes. The process of building this van and researching is a lot of fun for me. So I wanna take my time and enjoy it, not rush. Then once my van is built, 
who knows where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go everywhere. I probably will be sharing my layout with you soon. I'm not 100% finished with it. I, I don't know where all the pieces will go. The one thing that I think is important when planning your layout is making sure that it fits your lifestyle, that it fits your needs. For me, some of the most important things are having a shower, having a toilet, having a refrigerator, a small kitchen. I don't cook a lot, so I don't need an oven. I don't need that much space in the kitchen. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me, so I may not need as much storage space as um, other people may need. I have a pet rabbit and I would love to take her with me. I will try, I will test having her in my van for a few days here in this area once the van is built to see how she does, to see if she likes it. She will let me know if she doesn't like it, trust me. If she likes it, if she approves, then I would love to take her with me because she's, she's, my, she's my little friend. She's, she gives me a lot of company. And also, if I travel without her, I worry about leaving her behind. So I have to think about where she would be in the van, probably under the bed. She loves hiding under my bed anyway, so that would be a perfect spot for her. I have to make sure that I cover all the cables, anything that she may want to chew on. She's, she's a rabbit after all. She'll chew on things, she'll destroy everything, but I love her. Bunny, bunny, some people want to see you, I'm sure. And another thing that I would really like to have in the van is a partition wall with a pocket door separating the front from the back. This will give me more privacy. And also if I have a partition wall, if I were to be involved in a car accident, that wall is going to protect me from all of those things flying through to the front of the car, especially if it's strong and well-built, which it will be. When you have a YouTube channel where you talk about car camping, van life, camping in general, traveling, you feel a little pressure to continue doing these things and traveling and filming. But this channel is, is something I do for fun. This is my channel, this is my, my hobby. And even though it may not be the best for the algorithm to not post frequently or post about things other than car life or van life, it's my life and I have to be honest with myself and not try to do things just to create content. If I do that, I'll get burnt out and I'm not gonna enjoy it. Why do they keep them locked? Oh, uh, because people, um, like the young people, they say like, oh. they get out of them, yeah. and then also like they would like spray them, like the test them. Oh, so okay, guess, okay. Yeah, so I'll say them, like, do that. yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, Ready. I've been wanting to do this for so long and somehow here I am making it happen. I'm glad that I tested this out in my car, in my RAV4, before committing to spending the money on a van. It's gonna be a lot of money after I'm finished with it, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, so I think it will be worth it. Yes, it's gonna be worth it.